Hey YouTube, this is Alexander here and I'm back with another tech video. So this video is uh, the first, or the second actually, the second nightly of Signage Mod 10.1. So we'll go into settings and scroll down to about phone and then we'll take a look at the information and we see we have 4.2.1 and um, Signage Mod 10.1 2012 12 22 nightly so this is the build date uh, the, the build date is from December 21st and uh, I'm just going to be running through a couple new features or additions that uh, that they have for CM 10.1 um, for the Nexus so this is the GSM Nexus download link will be in the bottom for this as well as the G apps because they don't come with it um, so on uh, the notification um, bar um, up here or the drawer uh, we have the new quick toggles. These are actual toggles now rather than just uh, like shortcuts. Um, if we go ahead and we can hit Wi-Fi and it'll turn on. And we can hit that and turn it off. Um, we get to settings from here. We can turn on ro auto rotate. And I have uh, a mode set so when I click one, the uh, buttons will, or everything will swoop back up. But if you see I'm uh, swiping over here from the right, that'll get it to quickly access. If I hit from the left, it'll just come to notifications. So that's also uh, a setting that's in the in the settings. Um, but just like the tablets, how if you go on the right side or you swipe down from the right side, you'll get quick toggles or quick shortcuts. And the left side, or uh, uh, yeah, the left side will be just regular notifications. Um, you can see there's a little animation as that comes in from the left. Um, you can see pro the those two icons are probably harder to see, but. Um, if we dive into the settings, you get Apollo uh, preloaded, of course. You get your file manager. Um, you get terminal emulator, uh, and there's that's it. You don't get any G apps or anything like that. But the link will be down in the description. So if we go into settings and take a look at a couple settings in the launcher, we have uh, uh, you know your drawer settings. You have your home screen settings, uh, dock, and I believe I believe dock is a new one. And uh, generally, you had now have full screen mode, which I don't think was there in CM10 for the Crespo or uh, Nexus S. Um, in the lock screen, you can uh, change the, the security, of course. Um, battery status, if it's on or only when it's charging, it'll show. Shortcuts and button actions, um, what these buttons down here do if you're on the lock screen. Um, you still have your themes, which I have none, so there's nothing in there. Then in the system, you have your quick settings panel. This is the new one. Uh, quick pull down. This will be the right edge of the status, um, or the right edge, or the left edge, or none. Uh, when you pull it down, will quickly access these toggles. So that's what I have set to the right. Um, you have different uh, different options for this for certain tiles, and then uh, dynamic tiles down there. So just a couple settings for the um, sorry for the quick toggles. Um, if we go down, it's everything's pretty much the same. In advanced, deep idle is still not here, and I know. Since like the first signage mod uh, 10 that I flashed on this, I've, I've been, I guess, sort of waiting to see what they do with that, but they haven't done anything yet, um, and they might not. Um, but uh, black backlight tuning, you can turn these backlights off, of course, right here, if you would like. Display, if you're wondering what, um, this is the default, um, so that's what the default looks like. If you're wondering, um, I put it to natural, because it looks darker, and it's got a hint of blue, which I like. Um, so that's pretty much it. Oh, if you come down to here to about phone, which is probably all over the uh, YouTube from the Nexus 4 because uh, developer options wasn't checked, I believe you hit the build number, and I am now a developer because I hit that a bunch of times. Now you have um, developer options right here, and you also have performance options um, for the CPU and other things like that. Um, so I haven't really played with it a lot. Um, uh, let's go to the lock screen. Yeah, I haven't played with it a lot because I just flashed it last night. But um, I, I'm feeling like 4.2 isn't going to be... Um, at this point, I don't think it's ready for, I guess, prime time or for daily use. It's It just feels it feels really slow to me. Um, I can add my digital clock. And here we have a clock and another clock. And then I can hold it and move them around or just delete it. Okay, and let's hit that, and we can swipe over here to the camera. The camera works fine. Um, as you can see, though, there's no 
360 panorama. So if you're looking for that, I'll leave a link in the description and you should be able to just flash the camera um, after you wipe the Dalvik cache, I believe it is. Um, or no, I think it's the cache partition. It's, it's one on the main, uh, the main options, uh, like right below factory uh, reset. But um, yeah, if you flash the camera, it should work. Um, you shouldn't have any problems with that. If we go to video recording, it works. It's recording. There's not really any problems, um, I noticed. And we'll go back and I'll take a picture. We have the tap to focus. So we can wait five minutes for it to focus. Um, and then here's the picture I just took. As you can see, it's really laggy right there. Um, so that's that's the quality that I mean. That's more the hardware than <clears throat> than the software. Um, so yeah, everything seems to be you know sign engine mod ish. It, it's fine. The only reason why I, I wouldn't recommend it yet for daily use is just because of the lag. It's it would be kind of hard, in my opinion, to use for me if I wanted to use this as a daily driver. Um, there we go. As you can see there, it kind of when I hit that, it didn't turn off right away. The GPS is all different. I know you might have to wait a second because it's hardware related, but the, um, the Wi-Fi usually turns off right away. But um, that's what you get with CM10.1 for the Nexus S. And there we go. There's some lag right there too. And here the wallpaper is the same as before. Um, I know this video is getting kind of long, but uh, just a first look and you can see kind of the lag. Um, but hopefully they fix the lag, and I believe that's probably my only problem is just the lag at this point. Um, but hopefully they fix that. Uh, thanks for watching, and um, don't forget to subscribe because uh, as as you if you have me on Google Plus or you're following me on Twitter, uh, I did uh, let you guys know that the reason my contest been, uh, I, I planned to do it earlier uh, in the week, but uh, it's just been so busy. I had school and um, uh, the holiday stuff, you know. But I'm hoping to do it um, before Monday. So this weekend, um, either you know today or tomorrow, I'm going to try and uh, get the giveaway going, put up the video so you guys will have a chance to in, uh, win uh, one of two gift cards uh, or both of them. Uh, so anyway, subscribe down there now and like the video. Um, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.